Good morning, Cincinnati. I'm Jen Dalton. And I'm Bob Herzog. Thanks for sticking with us here on Star 64 for Arc Cincinnati. Today is National Therapy Animal Day. Yes, and we are joined this morning by Trish Smith from Pet Partners and her therapy animal Rosie, her therapy friend there, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Look, as soon as we said her name, those beautiful ears went right up. Just popped right up. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it tough that Rosie's kind of the superstar? Always. <laughs> no one knows my name. <laughs> pulling, <I'm, laughs> pulling focus. I'm transportation, I hold the leash. <laughs> I was just going to say, anytime you know we have an animal, especially one that is trained, uh, to be calm, mm -hmm. come in the room, your blood pressure just immediately goes down, yeah. you just start feeling better. And I think that's the goal of what you do. It so is. could could you tell us about Rosie and how she helps the community? Sure, so we um, are with Pet Partners, as you mentioned. Uh, we have over 200 uh, therapy animal teams Aww. and we support Greater Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. Uh, we go to hospitals, hospices, schools. Uh, we visit veterans, Ronald McDonald House, corporations, um, and Rosie uh, provides comfort and just stress relief. And it, really, it's still just like a little distraction from whatever sure. someone's going through. Um, she's bed size, so she can lay um, on a bed with someone or mm. in a, you know, someone in a wheelchair. She can sit on a lap, and that's her favorite thing, just to lay down and be adored, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> the girl loves her close up. Um, and, and it's just a real comforting thing for people. It, it, there are studies that show it does reduce stress, oh, yeah. blood pressure, heart rate, and even pain tolerance, yeah. which is really interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. When you see her crawl up on the bed with somebody or just maybe get in the lap or whatever the case may be, um, do you sit back and just kind of marvel at the change that yeah. happens for that person? Indeed. I mean, we've had people cry. You know, mm. we've had people just sigh of relief. Um, it is. It's a real interesting dynamic, um, and animals know. You know, they oh, yeah. they know when people are hurting. They know when people are, um, you know, stressed out. And like I said, her favorite thing is just to lay on the bed. So really, her job's pretty easy. She just lays there and looks cute. That's that's her whole goal. She, yeah, she's got that taken care of, doesn't <laughs> yeah. she? Now, I was telling you before, my mom had wanted to do something like this. Yeah. Unfortunately, her dog is a little high strung, <laughs> um, so she's not right for this kind of thing. But what kind of training goes into getting Rosie to be able to sit with somebody who's in a hospital sure. bed or you know maybe sick at the time and you don't want them running all over the place right right so there are pets so we train them on basic commands so I worked with a trainer with Rosie because she is a Yorkie and Yorkies are very stubborn very smart and they yeah. they also like to do what they want to do so I did work with a trainer basic commands um, basic AKC good citizen type things um, and then a lot of socialization. So we have been to all of the retail stores, uh, you know, in places that let animals in. Um, and then our organization, Pet Partners, they train me. So there is coursework that you do, um, and there is an exam. And then uh, there is an evaluation um, for us as a team. So there are people with, um, you know, in wheelchairs, people with masks on, other dogs, uh, groups, walking through groups, things like that. So a lot of it is just the basic training, the socialization, and then the awesome support that Pet Partners gives us. Well, can you tell us more about Pet Partners? And yeah. I, I wanted to mention too, because it's not just dogs. You were right. you were mentioning a rabbit and, and and some other animals too. So let's let's dive into what Pet Partners does. Right. So Pet Partners, uh, we do uh, we are in uh, domestically in 50 states in Canada, internationally in 12 different countries wow. across four continents. Wow. So a very large organization. Um, here in Cincinnati, as I mentioned, we have 200 about 200 different teams, and we register, evaluate, and register nine different species. So rats domestic rats. My niece has had rats and she loved them. Yes, yeah. guinea pigs, um, cats, uh, birds, equines, so horses and donkeys, oh, horses. alpacas and llamas. Um, and in our group, as I mentioned, we do have George the Therapy Rabbit, who is uh, very large and <laughs> always a fan favorite. And we do have some cats and guinea pigs. So really interesting dynamic um, to go out into the community, especially with different animals, because yeah. people just Aww. expect dogs. Yeah, we're yeah. seeing some of the, the photos here of, of the different animals and yeah. just look how calm. Yeah. To, for a dog to have a bird to do that, that's <laughs> amazing right now. Out. Looks like Horses, too. I, I'm a big <laughs> horse person and I grew up yeah. uh, working on a horse farm and I just know how they sense when somebody needs something and it, do you feel like the same way with with Rosie and the, those dogs they just sense whether you need somebody just to, they do. The, to be calm yeah or, or kind of maybe you need a little more maybe needs to perk somebody up it just seems like they know what to do right they do um, you know it's just a matter of uh, really watching her reaction which is one of the nice things about our group is that you don't have to be a straight you know, um, 
uh, trained obedience dog. You know, we want the, the natural commands, but it's really how, as a handler and a team, we work together to, to watch her reactions and manage her reactions, because they are animals, they're yeah. going to react. Um, and then, you know, sometimes there are things that, visits that she's just not into, you know? And it's just watching to see, is she tired? You know, is it time to leave? Do we need to spend just a little less time in a certain yeah. place? But she's done everything. I mean, we, we've dabbled in a little bit of everything, and our organization gives us lots of different opportunities. Um, we have more requests than we do teams, so we always need volunteers. Okay. Um, and it's just really a really fun volunteer thing to do. Well, if somebody's watching right now and either they, they think maybe they have a pet that yeah. could be a great part of the team or they want to be part of the team, or if it's someone watching who thinks that could really be supportive for XYZ, whatever whatever situation they've got going on, what's the best way to find out more? So um, petpartners.org okay. is our national website. It's got a ton of different information. Here locally in Greater Cincinnati, it's tpgcpets.org. Okay. Therapy Animals Greater Cincinnati Pets.org. Um, and we are on Facebook, we are on Instagram. Uh, there's all sorts of ways you can find different information. Awesome. Oh, well, yeah. And I know you guys do different events. You got some things coming up in the fall. Yes, we do. And actually, today with National Therapy Animal Day, we're accepting a proclamation from Hamilton County Commissioners. Oh, nice. Wonderful. Yep, we've received 11 proclamations so far, even one from uh, Governor Mike DeWine. So yeah. we're real proud of that as well. Excellent. Yeah. Well, Trish and Rosie too. Yeah. Oh, look at you. You knew. You knew right well, away. Thank you, Rosie. You're so You nice. knew right away. Yeah, thank you both. Girl. Thank you both so much for coming. Thank it was you. great. It was great thanks to talk to you. Thanks for having us. It's thanks, great. Thanks for what you're doing. The community. Yeah. Thank we appreciate you. it. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.